Good morning, everyone. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and uh, I just want to uh, do a few uh, housekeeping tips, and then we'll get to making this ladder of book pages, which is super easy and super fun. And I'll show you a few different ways that you can use it. Um, first of all, I'd like to say a grand thank you to Gina at Firefly Studio 67. She was very kind to give me a shout out. And she, <laughs> I mean, all these people came over and bumped up my subbies and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, this is so exciting. Uh, if you guys don't know Gina, I'm going to put her link below. She does amazing videos, a very, very talented um, artist. And um, she's definitely, definitely check her out because she's amazing. And uh, she also inspired me to uh, pay it forward. Um, so I came across a lady, another Gina actually, named Gina B. I think she's got 400 plus subscribers and she's awesome. And she's got great ideas and great videos. And I'm gonna put her link below too. There was one I watched on marbled paper that just blew my mind. I mean, she made it so easy and fun and I can't wait to try it. So thank you, Gina B. And um, I'm working on my next Woodland Journal. Um, I'll just show you what it looks like in right now. Here it is. Yep, that's that's what she looks like right now. I just finished this little watercolor on her this morning that I'm going to include. It's an original in the journal. And I have three other journals for sale in my Etsy shop right now. And the last thing is I'm approaching 300 subscribers. So I thought I'd do a little something fun when we, I get over over that little hump. So let's see if we can make that happen. And um, let's get to it. Okay. So today is uh, making a ladder and the ladder can be of, uh, I'm using book pages because that's the episodes I'm doing. Um, so uh, here's an example where I used uh, actually scraps from music paper. I had trimmed scraps down and I had these long strips and I thought, what am I gonna do with these things? I gotta use them up. So I made this. Now let me just give you a little close up so you can see a little closer. Hope the lighting is good. It's morning here. And what I did was made these little faux envelopes and each one of them has a little word prompt on the inside. I, I guess I'm just so inspired by those <laughs> little advent calendars at Christmas where you pop open the thing and there's chocolate. Um, I, I guess I'm dreaming about Christmas. Um, no chocolate here, but little word prompts, just any, any little words are fun. And uh, you can put pictures or anything you want inside, but I just thought that'd be kind of cool for somebody to explore. So that being said, let's put this uh, prototype away and clear the desk. And all the animals swear they're gonna be so good today. Oh my God, am I recording? Do you ever wonder if you're recording, like babbling along? Okay, so basically, let me back out a bit. I wanted to start with a, a basic book page that probably everybody has. And this is just a regular novel size book page. Um, this one happens to be cream. It can be white. It can be more antique looking. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, so anyway, we're going to do one with this. And then basically what I did was I shortcutted a few things here. I took this and I just folded it in half and I got this. Amazing, huh? I love the rocket science with my designs. Okay, then I took this and I cut it down to maybe about an inch wide and I got this. It's a little fold and I'm doubling it over just to give it extra strength because uh, it's going to be holding several items. And uh, so there's the process. And then I took this over to the sewing machine and I just sewed around the world and I got this. I know, how amazing, huh? <laughs> and uh, so at this point, I'm going to actually do some action here and uh, I'm going to ink it up <laughs> as Nick the booksmith says and she gives you the look in the camera because that's what we do right we ink everything up and then she just gives you this continued look every time she inks it up it's just it, she made me laugh a lot um, okay uh, I'm not going to do the back because I am going to adhere this so there we go all right now what I decided to do just to make it fun a little different from this one is I have some children's book pages and um, I don't do a lot of children's books so I thought well I love the colors in these things and maybe I can use uh, th this uh, you know book page um, for some colorful elements so I took another page and I <clears throat> pre tore them up into sizes about that in my hand there's the measurement there's the official measurement because I don't measure <laughs> Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is just, let me move these out of the way because they're dunsies. And maybe let's go a little closer so you can get in with the action. 
Okay, so um, I have a rough edge and I like to keep that as the top of the, um, the envelope. Here, my dishwasher's done. Get a little fold over. So, and if your book pages are brittle, yep, you might have to do a little reinforcement with washi tape and stuff. This isn't, and a little vintage book, so I may do that later. We shall see, because it will be a moving part. I'll put that woman's address on there. We don't want to do that. All right. All right. I just thought this would give it some color. All right, and this one. And since this is a shorter book page, I'm using the music uh, sheet was longer, so I don't need as many as of these, but I'm just gonna do a test run here to see how they look color-wise and where I wanna distribute the colors. Uh, do I wanna do five? Maybe put the biggest, at, you, can, you can make them, so the biggest ones at the bottom. Or um, you can mix them up, doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. The creativity of the designer. Okay. All right. So there we have our little idea of how this is going to go. And let me back out a bit so you can see better. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these and I'm going to put some words inside because that's what I like to do. And I just found some words and uh, boop, closer. And the words I found, uh, some of them I, I just, you know, made a Word document and printed out some words in different fonts and tear them up or cut them with the pretty fancy scissors. Um, other times I'll just go into a book and start tearing out words, and I think that's a great idea. I think I heard of it from um, Treasure Books, um, Natasha at Treasure Books, and I think that's a great way to use up book pages. So yes, yes, bring on the using up of the book pages. Uh, first of all, I think I'm going to uh, distress these a little bit just to give them a little pizzazz because um, I always think that just makes it look nice. All right, yeah, we want to do it this side because this side's going to show when we open it. Today I'm remembering to do my edges. Okay, okay, there's one. Okay. Okay, let me do that. Hang on. Okay, voila! And through the magic of TV, I got these all done. Did I do the backs? I hope so. Okay. Um, yeah, you just got to do a little bit more. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Um, and it's also a good idea to um, bend these back and just run across here so you get that little highlighted edge, which always looks kind of cool. It just gives it that extra little vintage feel. All right, we are done with those. Okay, well, forgot this one. Now we're done. Okay, now we're done. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and um, now you can also um, ink these up, which I think gives a nice uh, contrast as well. And uh, and since we have this one here, well, let's just go with the vintage photo over here. Like I say, you can always use other colors than vintage photo. And uh, these little things don't have to be cut up cut out perfectly. Um, oh, oh, hang on. And we're back through the magic of TV. Okay, I am, I'm, in the meantime, while my animals were uh, uh, singing a nice chorus there, I uh, went ahead and inked those up. So we can get down to it. And, um, okay, just got to remember which way's up. All right, and let's put them in order so we don't mess it up. Let me back you up here so you can see better. Okay, let's find... I like them kind of random, actually, for some reason. Mm, I think it's just me. But, uh, all right, so let's just put them on here. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah, let's put you there with the little jumping feet. Okay, you here. Are you digging in? You're digging in my stuff. That's my little dog who's digging in my stuff. And the birds that you hear, uh, you actually hear the lovebirds. I have lovebirds and an African gray parrot. And, uh, well, you'll hear, hear everybody before. <laughs> before this is over who are we kidding okay um so i have gone ahead and uh, opened up my little you know how you have to kind of poke it to get it going yeah my little glue has been poked and ready to go all right so i'm just gonna oops put too much there let's share the glue let's share the wealth oh yeah everybody's starting to yip up now sure mama's talking let's go for it 
Okay. Oh, that's my dog snorting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa, you're, you're, you're actually eating my little organizer. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Guess where we're going today? We're going to the vet. Yeah, we're going to get all checked out. We're going to get our heart and lungs and all sorts of fun stuff. A little... Yeah, yeah. You know how he feels about the vet. It's like panic. Panic sets in. And uh, that's okay. We gotta go. Got a few little things we're dealing with. Gotta get checked out. All right. So here we have those. Now we're gonna go ahead and adhere them to the ladder. And, uh, you know, just some. Oh, let me use this glue. It's faster. Oh, here's my fancy design. You wanna see this? This is when it gets to the point where it starts bubbling up the top. I turn it over and I, okay, if you can see this, I put it on the center of the little hole and it doesn't leak too much glue, maybe just a little bit, but it keeps your glue at the ready, which always seems to be a, a little issue with the Fabri-Tac. All right, one, actually, let's move all these off. We'll go in with efficiency mode and we'll put, how many got? One, two, three, four, one, Two. Oh, geez. Three. Maybe don't do that because you get the glue string. Uh, okay. Don't do as I do. Don't don't do it. <laughs> All right. Two. This is learning on the fly here. Learning on the fly. All right. Let me make sure they're straight. Fabric Tech gives you a few seconds to organize your little ducklings here. In their rows. All right, flap her down. Okay. Okay. Uh, stick. You're supposed to be the greatest glue ever. How come you're not sticking for me? Okay. This maybe I put too much. Yep. Just a little dab, a little dab. That's all you need. See, it's sliding on itself. That's what it is. Okay, we got that. That's easy enough, right? Anybody can do that. That's easy. Okay, so to add more pizzazz, I thought I'd use... Oh, well, that was impressive. I thought I'd use my little flower stamp. Ta-da! Not there. Okay, let me get backup stamp. How about this stamp? This is a little leaf peg stamp. And uh, I thought I'd use black. And I'm just going to go in the centers here. Make like a little leaf chain. Okay. This is going right over the fabric tack. Yeah. Because we're live and we're just rolling with it. Okay. All right. There we go. So we have that. And I thought, okay, how can I decorate this else? Else. That, that made sense. Okay. In addition to Okay, on this one, I use the liquid pearls, which I really like as a little button top, and that's very easy. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know very well that it's very important to put your project aside after you put the liquid pearls on, or else you get little dots everywhere, and it's utter mayhem. So today, we're going to try plan B to avoid utter mayhem, because I always forget. And uh, I'm going to try some sequins. These are my like ignored little things that are digging through my craft pile and I'm trying to pull out stuff that I haven't used in ages and sequins are one of them. So let's just pour these little babes out. And I think the best contrast, I like to do the contrast. Oh, I don't know if I can pick these things up. Good grief. How's this going to go? All right, let's just try it. All right, we're going to put a little dab of dew, a good dab of glue. Oh, that was way too much. All right, we'll just share two, three, four, and five. All right, we'll see if that works. I'll pick up a sequin. Bah ha ha. All right, stick it down. All right, oh, that wasn't bad. I'm going to use the dark ones. I think they'll show up better. Number two, trying to do this before the glue dries. Sequin. These are flat sequins. I don't know where they came from. Probably a dressmaker or something. I like to buy a lot of stuff from the um, vintage shops and the, the antique malls and that kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh God, I'm like in heaven when I'm there. <laughs> I just go crazy. Yeah, I really have to control myself. It's just, I can't, I can't, you know, you know what happened, you know. Hey, um, 
It's like I am very minimalist and organized in most of the rest of my life, but when it comes to crafts and old ephemera and stuff, I am I'm totally weak. Okay, so and you can, you know, get these to flatten down and once you put them in a journal, they'll flatten down even more. So what you can do is just place this on, let's see, you can place this on a journal page as is. You can cut them in pieces and use them as just decoration on certain sections of the journal page. Or you could actually put another um, big leg of the ladder and have two and possibly put a piece of paper under it and use it as a giant belly band. Or you could just use the two and use them as a belly band, like just glue the top and the bottom down. You can use one as that too, as the belly band. So um, multiple uses for this little guy. And I hope you enjoyed this little project. Um, like to keep things simple and fun and quick and easy. And let's use up those book pages. So I believe this is episode seven. So um, let's see if we can like and subscribe and get that 300 subbies and then we'll do something fun when that happens. All right, take care everybody. Have a great day and uh, happy crafting.